If you are preparing for CAT or other MBA entrance tests, you should definitely watch this video. Because in this video, I am going to give you a detailed strategy on how to prepare the quantitative aptitude section. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do so because in the coming days, I am going to upload strategies for verbal and LRTI as well. So in this video, I'll explain about quant preparation in three major sections. In the first section, I will explain about the topics that you should cover for quant, the recommended sequence in which you should cover the topics and by when you should complete it so that you can start your mocks. In the second part, I will give you a personalized strategy on how to go about preparing what are the books and materials you should follow based on your current level of preparation. And in the third section, I will give you the different approaches of attempting the quant paper and also tell you which approach fit the best for me. So the topics that you have to cover for quant preparation include arithmetic, number system, algebra, geometry and modern maths which basically includes your probability and permutation and combination. And I would recommend you to prepare in the same sequence that I've mentioned. However, if you want to vary as well, it's perfectly fine. However, my recommendation would be to definitely start with arithmetic and then you can vary the order as per your own preference. The reason is that almost 30 to 40 percent of the paper will include arithmetic questions and those are the most doable as well. So you want to make sure that you are most prepared in this particular topic at least. And if you're preparing it in the beginning, you can keep practicing it over the months and ensure that you do not miss out on those easy questions. This will really help you boost your scores. And as far as the other topics uh, go, I would recommend modern maths. It's like you should keep it at the end because uh, there are hardly questions being asked these days from modern maths and there's a lot to prepare as well. So students get lost uh, in what to prepare exactly in modern maths and they waste a lot of time in preparing some unnecessary things. So I, I would recommend to keep it at the end so that you do not waste time that you can utilize on other topics. And as far as the sequence and the timeline goes, the way that you should prepare is arithmetic. You should consider covering it in the first month of your preparation. Then comes number system. You should cover it in the next two weeks. Then comes algebra. You should cover it in the next one month. Then comes geometry. You should cover it in the next two weeks. And then modern maths, another two weeks for this particular topic. So in this way, you would have covered the entire con syllabus in about three to three and a half months, or maybe I would say uh, four months in case you take a break or something in between. So in four months, you would have covered this entire syllabus for quant. So suppose you're starting in the month of April, then April, May, June, July, you would have covered the entire con syllabus and the rest of the months, August, September, and so on, you can keep for sectionals and practicing the mocks, which are very, very important for an exam like CAT. So now we come to the topic of how to actually go about your preparation. So here I'll have two different strategies for two different sets of people. First would be the people who are not very confident in quant, did not have maths in their plus two and are not very comfortable in solving quant questions. Next would be people, suppose you're an engineer who is fairly confident in quant. So I'll have two different strategies for these two different sets of people. So starting with the first set of people and in case you think that you're fairly confident in quant, you can skip the next 30 seconds to one minute where I'll discuss your strategy specifically. Starting with the first set of people, you have to start your preparation with a standard book. It can be Arun Sharma or Sarvesh, anything, whichever is your preference. And you have to start reading the theory and the solving the example problems in that book. If you do not understand some theory, you can go watch some YouTube videos. I'm assuming that you have not taken up any coaching, but in case you have taken up the coaching, the coaching will cover your theory portion. You can start directly from the example problems. And then you can solve the exercise problems in the book, maximum till level one, level two, no need to go for the level three problems at all. And within level one and level two as well, I would recommend you not to solve each and every problem. Make a sequence, solve the first problem, solve the fourth, solve the seventh and so on. The reason for this is you will find in most of the books, the first problem, second problem, third problem have the same concept. So I don't want you to waste time on that. And especially what happens is when people are solving a lot of problems, they get bored and leave the problems at the end of the exercise, which probably will cover a new concept. And that is why I don't want you to miss on that as well. So no need to solve everything, save your time, skip few questions in between, but solve the questions till the end of the exercise. And after you have completed this book, take up any coaching material and solve the example problems and the exercise problems completely there. The books or the sheets, whatever you get, just solve it. 
and if you are not taking any coaching you can find these materials from say past students or even on the internet as well and once you have completed the books and the coaching material now you should start your sectionals and the mocks and for the second set of people who are fairly confident in quant i would recommend you not to waste much time on the standard books and start directly from some coaching material you can solve the example problems and you can solve the exercise problems of that coaching institute if you have not taken any coaching is perfectly fine you can find these materials from past students or you can find it on the internet as well and once you have completed these exercises i want you to focus more on problem solving rather than theory because that is what helps in cat and that's why you can start focusing on your sectionals and mocks directly after solving these coaching sheets so now coming to the final section how to actually attempt your paper i have seen broadly two strategies over here first strategy is that you go through the entire paper at once in the first 2 minutes you have gone through the entire paper you have marked for review those questions which you are going to attempt in the first round itself so those are questions which are from your area of expertise and you are fairly comfortable with and once you have solved those questions the strategy is probably to solve those 50% of the paper in the first 15 minutes so that you have another 25 minutes for the rest 50% those are the difficult questions so you can use more time there as well while this is a great strategy however this didn't work for me and what i used to do was i used to sequentially go through each and every question i used to spend 5 to 10 seconds on reading the question and if i think that i can solve it i would solve it then and there in case i think that i am not able to understand the question i will skip it and in case i think that it will i am able to understand the question but still it will take me more than 150 seconds to solve this i will mark it for review and move ahead and once i have gone through the entire sequence of questions once that was my round 1 i will come back to the questions that i had marked for review so now i'll attempt those questions and in case there is time then i will come back to those questions which i didn't understand by reading it for the first time so this was all about quant preparation there's just one part that is missing in this video that is about how to analyze your mocks if you are preparing for quant i will soon release a video on mock analysis and i will make similar concept videos for verbal and ladi as well 